This is the brand new N4 dot files offering a fresh desktop experience with Material 3 expressive theme for Linux users. N4 is based on Quickshow and the Hyperland window manager. In today's video, I will show you how to set up Arch Linux with the N4 dot files. Now thanks to Maverick Developer, the installation process is fully automated. Now let's start by installing n4.files on Arch Linux. Now first, make sure you have a fresh installation copy of Arch Linux with minimal desktop on your PC or laptop using the Arch install script. In my case, I have already installed the Arch Linux with minimal desktop alongside Windows 11 on the same drive, but this is a dual boot setup. I have made a separate video on how to install Arch Linux, so I will leave a link to that video in the description. Now, let me go ahead and log into Arch using my credentials. Since I have installed a fresh copy of Arch Linux, I need to connect to the internet using the Wi-Fi. I'm going to use the nmcli command to connect to my Wi-Fi network. Then I will run ping command to check the connection and you can see that I'm receiving the packets. The first thing to do after installing Arch Linux is to update your system. Just go ahead and type this command to update your system. Now let's go ahead and increase the console font size. Type this command to install Terminus font package. Once it's installed, run this command to increase the console font size. It's recommended to install some essential dependencies or packages using pacman. Now run this command to install git, wget, curl, and other required packages. Now it's time to set up a pre-configured hyperlint environment using an installer script created by Maverick Developer. You can navigate to the official website to learn more about this setup. We are going to install the latest N4 dot files, which brings a beautiful Material 3 expressive theme to Hyperland. I'm going to go ahead and create a new directory named dot files. Next, navigate into this directory and run this command to clone the GitHub repository. Once the repository is cloned, move into the newly created folder, then locate the install.sh file and execute this file. Now type yes to back up the default config and local folders. Now this script offers two installation modes. The first one prompts you for confirmation before running each command. The second option runs everything automatically. I'm going with the second option by typing N and pressing Enter. Now sit back and be patient while the script is running in the background. You may be asked your password a couple of times during the installation. Once the script completes, I recommend checking out the post installation guide for tips on getting started with Hyperlint. You can also go ahead and install some GUI applications if you need. Then type this command to install the stdm login manager. Once the installation is complete, enable the stdm service by running this command. And finally, start the stdm service with this command. Congratulations, the login manager is now working properly.
Once the script completes, it's better to reboot your system to apply all settings. Now go ahead and select the session as hyperlink from the top left. After that, enter your password to login. Upon successful login, you will be greeted with the N4 welcome screen. Now, arguably, this is the best hyperlink configuration you will ever experience. The first step you should do after setting up the n4.files is to press super plus slash to bring up the cheat sheet. The super key is the Windows key on your keyboard. This will display a list of key bindings related to specific apps or shortcuts to open wallpapers, working with Windows, workspaces, and much more. I recommend reading this list and memorizing some shortcuts. For example, to close any app window, you can press Escape or Super plus Q. Now pressing Super plus T will launch the terminal. There you can see the bash environment. Now let's increase the font size in the kitty terminal. In your home directory, there's a hidden folder called config. There, all your hyperlane configuration files are stored. The first, navigate to the config directory using this command. Then open the kitty configuration file and locate the font size setting. Then change the value to 20. Then save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus X. Then press Y and enter. Then close terminal by pressing super plus Q and reopen it by pressing super plus T. You should now see the increased font size. Now clicking the top left or the top right corners of the screen opens the N4 sidebar. The sidebar on the right provides system controls like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, game mode, and much more. You can also switch the sound output device, see notifications, and check calendar information using the widget at the bottom. There is a button to reload Hyperlint and Quickshell instantly, and clicking the power icon reveals additional options like Reboot, Shutdown, and Logout. Now let's open the Settings app. Now from here, you can switch between light or dark themes. The layout resembles Android's Material 3 expressive design. Under the interface settings, you can customize elements like buttons, the top bar, and even adjust the rows and columns in the workspace menu. Now pressing the super key brings up the workspace overview and app launcher. This lets you switch between workspaces very easily. Also, the launcher allows you to search for any installed app making it the quickest and easiest way to launch apps on your system. The sidebar on the left lets you create your own chatbot AI server. You can press Ctrl plus P to expand the windows, but simply choose the large language model you want to work with. 
For example, type forward slash model to select a model. The locally installed Olama models are detected automatically. Now once you have done with this setup, you can enter any prompt and get a response just like a magic. Now this is amazing and you don't have to open a web browser to work with large language models. Now to edit the hyperlink configuration files, open the Kitty terminal and navigate to the default key binding configuration file. Now let's add a custom key binding to open the Chrome web browser. Now in this example, we will assign super plus G as the shortcut. Now once you have added the key binding, Save the changes by pressing Ctrl plus O. Then exit using Ctrl plus X. Now pressing Super plus G will instantly launch the Chrome web browser. Now to change or update a wallpaper, press Super plus Ctrl plus T. This will open the file manager allowing you to choose any wallpaper you like. Now open terminal and type this command to clone a collection of high quality wallpapers into any location. Once it's done, press the Ctrl plus Super plus T and select the wallpaper and choose the one you want to apply. Overall, Arch Linux with the new N4 dot files brings a Material 3 expressive theme to Hyperland, taking the desktop experience to the next level. And that's all for this video on installing and customizing Hyperland on Arch. A huge shout out to all the developers who contribute to making Linux so beautiful. And don't forget to check out the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. This has been KSK Ryo. I will see you in the next one.